Aloha e kako. Uh, and welcome everyone to the Hawaii Floriculture and Nursery Association's Wedding Celebrations 2022. We have uh, two co-hostesses. Did I say that correctly? Two beautiful women that, are, that will be co-hosting uh, to this year. Uh, Hitomi Gilliam, AIFD, and Dr. Teresita uh, Tessie, as we fondly refer to her as Amore. They will be taking the stage right after me. Uh, okay, and I also want to mahalo uh, our designers, uh, Bruno Duarte from uh, Toronto, uh, who is a designer with us this year, uh, and, and uh, Justin, his assistant. Uh, Tim Farrell, AIFD from Drexel Hill. I, I don't know where Tim is. I didn't see where Tim is. Uh, he's around, I think. Um, Hitomi Gilliam, of course, AIFD. Lois Hironaga, AIFD, our Maui girl. Susan McLeary, and uh, I think she, I might get, be getting this wrong, but I'm going to say Chicago, Illinois, but do you, do you, oh, Michigan, sorry, Michigan, yeah, it's close, right, it's close. <laughs> uh, Leah and Kelsey Mercado from uh, our, our own Waimea, or Kamuela, uh, Dorothy Reynolds Yadao from Kauai, uh, Sue Tabal Yamaguchi, AIFD from Honolulu. And she just returned from uh, Europe, so we're really happy that uh, she made it back safely. And of course, our special guest also is Brittany Texera, who you will be enjoying uh, learning how to use those beautiful uh, products that are on your t that are that are garnishing and on your table right now. Um, and we also want to uh, mahalo our uh, Big Island design uh, directors of Hefna because they they were very in influential in helping. So Johnny Gordini is from Kauai and. Uh, we're sorry, Johnny couldn't be here this uh, weekend because he's uh, taking care of mom. Uh, Mom's not feeling well, so he had to stay on Kauai. So we're, we're, we're keeping him in our prayers. Uh, Gordon Inoue, who's here. Gordon from the Hawaii Island. Carver Wilson also, who could not be here with us, our director from Maui. And Kathleen Yoshinaga, who is here, the, right there, sitting down. Thank you, Kathy from Honolulu. Um, and we have uh, a special uh, shout out to, uh, we have two traders uh, for, for our um, market a uh, access program uh, under USDA Foreign Ag Services. And they're both uh, traders from Vancouver, Canada. So Mr. Gyu Cho, which is uh, here. Yeah, thank you, Gyu, for coming this year. And also, which is a little uh, interesting, wearing two hats, uh, Mrs. Brenna Kwan in front. Thank you. Uh, so these are our two traders. These are our ver very much VIPs, yeah? So we're, we're trying our best to wine and dine them this weekend. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and also we couldn't do this without all of our sponsors. So we have a board on the front. Uh, there may be two boards, but one I see there that, that acknowledges all the sponsors. So on our, under our platinum sponsors, we have um, our Hawaii State Department of Ag, uh, University of Hawaii, our County of Hawaii, uh, Department of Research and Development, uh, Synergistic Hawaii Agricultural Council, Hawaii Tropical Flower Council, uh, CTAR, our College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources. Um, we couldn't do this without their support, yeah? This year's um, title sponsor is uh, Greenpoint Nursery, so thank you to them. And uh, on, on our gold sponsors, we have a whole list of gold people, so just bear with me. Uh, Design 358, these are people that either are sponsoring with cash or in kind, so we just want to uh, mahalo them. Uh, Tropical Flower Express, uh, Grace Flowers Hawaii, I know who are florals, uh, Suvi Expressions, Pacific Floral Exchange, Garden Island Party Essentials, Out of the Sea Media, uh, Kathleen Enterprises, Gordon Inoue, Lois Hiranaga Floral Design, Bruno Duarte, Tim Farrell, uh, Hitomi Gilliam, AFD, Susan McLeary, and uh, Brittany Texera. And our silver sponsors also, who, who are sponsors in cash, we want to mahalo them. Uh, Glenn and Kathleen Yoshinaga, a shout out over there. Thank you, Kathleen. Uh, Nutrient Ag Solutions, our own Ken Ogawa. Uh, Floral Deck Sales, Sydney Hamada, who's our largest uh, hard goods supplier in the state. And our, our friends at FedEx, Stacy Bullion. Uh, so we want to mahalo and thank them. As you know, without the sponsors in time and also in um, resource, uh, we couldn't do this uh, every year. So I have to admit, 
I'm still basking in the afterglow of a highly successful 2022 AIFD Root Symposium. Credit is due to AIFD leadership, of course, for selecting Hitomi Gilliam AIFD and her committee to take the helm for that comeback event this year. I think it was almost three years we didn't have a face-to-face, -face and it was wonderful, wonderful. So he told me, after a two-year or three-year in-person hiatus, it was an infusion of inspiration that we all needed. You and your team, the planning team, as well as execution team, pulled off an incredibly beautiful event in Las Vegas this year. Congratulations, he told me also. Sue and Lois and Brenna for your main stage um, presentations. Thank you. Hawaii was very well represented. We'd also like to thank uh, and allow uh, you, because you, you helped showcase Hawaii's flowers and plants at that amazing show in Las Vegas. Uh, and to show how uh, not only the product that we grow, but the people, because we are very well rep. We had um, 15 or 20 people there, so it was a, it was a big contingency, so it was, it was, it was fun. Um, most of us didn't um, make withdrawals, we just made deposits, but that's okay. Um, so thank you to our team of AIFD designers who took that main stage with their Cultivate, Celebrate a Neotropic Hawaii presentation. Lois Hiranaga from Maui, Sue Tabal from Oahu, and our own Hanai adopted sister, Brenna Kwan from Canada. You captured the moment with your stunning floral designs. If you were there, you, 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 the beauty was in the designs, yes, but the love and the feeling, the emotion was in the faces of the participants. You may not, as designers, have seen all the faces that we saw, but we really saw the appreciation for all the participants who saw the design, the presentation, and saw the, the creations after, to, that they, where, they, where they could take pictures, they were glowing. They were just simply amazed, so we want to thank you for that. It definitely captured the moment, and um, all I can say is excellent presentation, excellent. So mahalo nui lo and congratulations to each of you. You can relax now, it's over, and, and hopefully you had a few cocktails to take, take the burn at edge off, yeah? So joining them on a at the AIFD Symposium stage also, which was, uh, I'd like to make another shout out, is to Dr. Tessia Mori, our favorite researcher and flower breeder extraordinaire at the University of Hawaii. So thank you, Tessie. The flowers presented on stage were developed by Tessie's breeding program, which is also part of her students' curriculum, which is, which is very profound. Her presentation informed the audience of Hawaii's unique collaboration between researchers, growers, and the floral designers. I like to think of this collaboration as a very healthy ecosystem, each doing its part to benefit our industry as a whole. A group of acclaimed designers are able to give our researchers that, that critical feedback on the flowers and foliage in development by knowing and identifying the characteristics that are desired by designers, you, yes, you. As growers, we go through stages of field tests to determine if a new variety is worthy of the market or for the market. One of the prerequisites of flowers in development is to be resistant against certain pests and diseases. Yes, we determine if new varieties developed in the lab conditions will perform just as well in the field. Disease and pest resistant crops are more environmentally and economically sustainable. So besides being beautiful flowers and plants, must, must have these sustainable traits. Growers are looking at microclimates that bring out the best characteristics the nuances of glossier surfaces to get our attention and have a long vase life for the benefits of all are very much desired outcomes. The criteria are wide and ranging and the process can take up to 10 to 14 years. Yes, 
10 to 14 years for a commercial cultivar to be released out of Tessie's program. We, we're very patient. Um, be, being a grower, you got to be very patient. But the outcomes are well worth it. Yeah? New varieties must meet benchmarks before they make that cut. Um, the pro this process is continuous, although multiple varieties now are always in the developmental pipeline with Tessie at any given time or year. Take this promising new tricolor tulip. Yeah? So I'm going to show you a little bit, just to brag a little bit maybe. This is a UH 2317. It's a very large, this is probably not doing it well, but it's a very large, it gets much larger, but it's a tricolor tulip. It's, it's very, uh, textural is, is nice, high gloss, um, there's very nice transitional coloring. This is, the, we're, we're very hopeful for this cultivar, UH 2317, um, if you can remember that. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a really nice name, I, I assure you. And then another, it's, this is UH 2555, 2555. And what's unique about this, besides all the other desirable traits, it's introducing a new color in our, in our offerings. It's like a, I don't want to taint it, but a raspberry kind of color. So I'm, I hope that excites you. I, just, I think about raspberry and ice cream now. <laughs> so another two varieties which have recently been released, I just want to brag a little bit uh, about the program is this is one new variety that has been released. It's a UH 2237. Uh, this is uh, Kathy Rulota. So this gets much larger too. And what you might want to notice is in a, in a smaller or maybe, if I may use the term immature, uh, not really fully, fully mature. When it gets, it's kind of triangulating on the bottom but, uh, of the spade. But when it gets mature, it gets rounder. It gets wider and rounder. So these are some of the observations that we have as growers in advanced testing. Uh, that I just want to share with you. And of course, um, um, the lion of the jungle, right? This is UH 2245, and this was named Phil Ruloda. And this gets much larger as well, yeah, as in Obake. Um, since I got uh, a little bit of stage time, I thought I'd uh, give Tessie and her program a shout out and, and also wor working on this new program with the designers and the breeders and the growers. I think we're, we're so excited about that. So there is more than meets the eye when you hold a flower uh, in flower development by the University of Hawaii program under the guidance of Dr. Amore. We, we go through this process to ensure that the flow of new and exciting flowers for us, as well as for you all, to help keep this, uh, our industry, our floriculture industry, vibrant and thriving. So okay, enough talk from me. I know I'm starting to ramble. So on behalf of the Floriculture and Nursery Association and the Board of Directors, uh, mahalo nui for all of you for attending this weekend. We, we appreciate your time. Uh, many of you had to travel far, but coming here and giving us this much time, we really appreciate it and we hope you enjoy uh, your show this weekend. And so without, without further ado, I'd like to get the show on the road. <laughs>